In my family's intimate relationships class, we study things like dating and marriage and singlehood, all the above, everything that you can think of. Dabble, 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 a little of this, a little of that. And the, co the topic of jealousy came up. Whenever I hear the word jealousy, I, I immediately think that it is something that's harmful, unhealthy. Uh, a lot of times there are opposing viewpoints on that that say jealousy is a healthy part of a relationship and it, 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 it creates uh, greater levels of attachment. You know, again, I, everybody has an opinion, but what I found really interesting is we had an assignment where um, students were to talk about that concept, the roots of retroactive jealousy, their insight, the socio-psychological roots, and they have like 45 to 60 seconds to do that. Quite a wide range of, of responses to that prompt, many of which were really good, very insightful, looked at things like past trauma, past relationship experience, and, and those things that we are probably all well aware of. Uh, when we, we learn to mistrust people, just we may learn, we first learn to trust people and then we learn to mistrust people throughout our lives. And uh, we cannot necessarily escape our accumulated wisdom and experience, but we can reflect on it and see if it's causing harm to us. Now, one of the students brought up the, the topic of uh, social media. I never really thought about it. I never thought about people uh, posting photos of themselves with their partner. And I'm talking about years and years, right? Of, of accumulated archival public information about someone's love life, if you will, depending on what they post. So if you break up with that person, you go in and you delete all those things. Is, would it be possible to do that? Can you delete all those things? Can someone that you're dating now, and I'm sure anyone who's ever dated anybody is going to go through and see all that they can dig up on the person. That's just kind of the world that we live in. I didn't necessarily come from that world. We did not have the ability to research people. And if someone didn't bring up a past relationship, the only time it ever came up was someone else told us or you run into the person you and your your significant other run into that person out somewhere in the streets and it all comes to the who is that you know or that kind of thing but now everything is just so public and you can dig and dig and then you could see where someone's ex is liking you know someone's post and they may have been an ex from two years ago listen it is quite possible that people had a relationship, it didn't work out, but they remained friends, number one. And number two is, I think we have to really investigate the role that attachment plays. I think people, relationships are wonderful, but they can also drain us because we're so afraid that we're going to lose the relationship that we damage the relationship in the process. And I believe that is one of the harmful effects of retroactive jealousy. So. One part of the question that I asked him was there a way to resolve that and many have said communication with that partner is, is critical. That kind of thing, uh, everyone has a past. The older you get, <laughs> the longer you've lived, the longer your past is to the point where you probably literally don't even remember or haven't even thought about that unless you're someone who thinks about you know, daily, weekly, think about all the partners you've had, people you've been in relationships with. I'm sure that comes up from time to time. But for most of us, we just get on with it. So retroactive jealousy, don't think it really has a place. Don't think it's healthy. It's there. And I think that we should reflect and reflect on why it's there and what it means about who we are as people, not about the relationship.